what is up guys we're gonna build beats today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some rap melodies and how to make them your own if you guys haven't subbed already or we'll turn posters on i should do so because it does have it a lot let's hop right into it so first i'm just grabbing the scale my bpm is 170 somewhere around here should be fine at least for these types of melodies uh so let's go in here we could just choose like a minor i don't know let's do a d sharp minor all right so let's go ahead and get started with the first chords and i'll go and explain everything in detail all right all right so let's start with the chord progression and i'm gonna give you the midi for this so y'all can just download it all right but i'm gonna still show it here now if you have problems with this plugin because um, a lot of people say it's quiet what you need to do is turn this dynamic part to the left because i'll play real quick right you can see the more it's to the right the quieter it is all right so just turn it to the left if it's too quiet just go in here so this is the chord progression you start on your root where is the D sharp? Here we go. Start on the root, just like that. And basically you just wanna go down one note each within the scale, right? Don't go down one note like this, right? Within the scale and you're done. You're good to go, you're a pro producer now. So what we wanna do is offset these a little bit to give it bounce. So I usually just do this one or you could do something like this, right? But I usually just do this, okay? So we're done, let it play out. It'll make it more rappable anyway. So from here, let me let me turn these this velocity up. So from here, this is the code, or not the code, but the, the combo of chords you wanna use. So you wanna use the minor, major, major, that's it. And pretty much any of those combos, you can make pretty much, I ain't gonna say any song, but pretty much. Um, so minor, you just create the chords up here and these would be two major chords. And you can combo these however you like. All right, and you can start to invert and do stuff. And then here. Okay, so from here, we wanna copy it because we don't wanna be a born producer. We wanna actually make it seem like we know what we're doing. So what you wanna do is delete this and copy this, this minor over. Simple as that, right? And then you have a full progression now. And I am 100% sure all of you have heard something like this before, okay? So that is the chord progression. That is how you build it from scratch. Um, and also we can go ahead and add these, if it'll let me copy it. And I usually do these down about two octaves. And I just, how did I just, okay. Just to give it some range, okay? So in the next part, I'm gonna show you how to manipulate this a little bit to make it your own so it's not this bland, all right? Now, this is the most important part because I'm sure you hear people say, oh, all the melodies are the same. They're all the same. Yeah, the chord progressions are the same, but that's because what people do is they get this and they say, oh, that's fire. And they stop here because it's good enough right but sometimes good enough isn't good enough and you need to make this your own so i'm gonna show you how to do it so basically what you want to do is you can take some notes from these scores so what i would do is take and you probably see people do this all the time i'll take this root right pull it up an octave and then we can skip up right as if we're making a chord right and you can pull this down and do a whole bunch of stuff but let's just stick here um and let me change the color so at least you can see what i'm doing okay so we can build this into the chord right and then what we can do to keep this sad you see we're on these like half steps you can use these and i like to offset on melodies like this um just to keep it more like humanized so it's not super robotic we can use these together right and then from this note this last note you want to make a chord backwards right so you kind of make a chord backwards like this right and you can see this all is in harmony and let me move this one out the way okay so now we combine these notes right and then what you can do is move a few of these notes so for me i would probably move this one down um just by looking at it because you see this is the same exact note so i know this is going to sound good so let's mesh these together okay and let's play it and 
you can see now it's my own kind of unique chord to me and what I like, right? And so that is how you can kind of make these your own. And people won't make fun of you for using the same chord progressions, even though you are using the same chord progressions. But all right, uh, let's move on to the next part. All right, so now we're on to the melody part and I just reverted back to this original chord progression. And I put this one over here just in case I want to use it. So um, what we need to do, and I wanted to save this for another video, but I'll just, it's relevant to the topic. So I'll show you now. And what you wanna do is pull this mid note, right? It could be any of these, but you wanna pull this mid note up an octave, copy it, pull it up an octave. And from here, what you could do is create a chord from there right or you can take this top note and pull it up an octave it's up to you how you want to get there but the point is to get a start and an end point for your melody so let's pull this over now you probably notice these notes over here now these are kind of patterns that you can follow to get the melodies that you want now this is a simpler one just follow the half steps i'm sure you hear people say it all the time um, this is the simpler one but this one is a more like advanced version okay now this this doesn't matter i just pretty much put this on a scale so you can transpose it and put it wherever you want but these distances between the notes are what you want to pay attention to and i'm gonna show you what i mean so we can take this and start making some flams Okay, and let's make a flam up here. Um, and how you know what notes is you can take this note, you, the last note that played, right? And you can pull it up and kind of make a chord out of it, right? And you can see how these match up. So I'm gonna keep, well, I'm not gonna keep it, but you know. And let's do a flam here. Let's pull that one down. Right, you can see it's hitting all these patterns, right? Let's move this back. And then over here, remember that uh, D sharp we had? Let's do a flam with this. Okay, you can see we're starting to get that vibe already. All right, so remember these patterns. You can highlight them, you can, whatever you wanna do with these, screenshot, whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and do the second part so that, and I'm gonna actually throw in this G sharp right here. Okay, let's do the second part so I'll show you how to finish it out. All right, so I went ahead and re-added my bass notes because I forgot those. All right, so we just wanna add variation. And what a lot of people do, they'll just copy this over and be like, all right, variation. We don't wanna do that, okay? We wanna to continue to make the melody cry, but we wanna make it cry even more, right? So what we wanna do is take one of these notes, and I prefer this one, pull it over and pull it up an octave. So now we have a start and end point. So we wanna get here somewhere. All right, so let's zoom in. And we use the same principles, we just create a new one. All right, so let's just do something like this. Let's start here. And let's bring this over. Okay, go up an octave, not an octave, you know, make a chord out of it. Um, and then pull this over. All right, and then we could do this little pattern, and I'm sure y'all heard this before, and this is super easy. And then we just go down with the chord. Like that. I'm sure you heard that before, so here we go. All right, now this is the most generic pattern you can make, right? Yes, it's kind of a little bit unique, but at the same time, it's really not, okay? We just been following the rules. So I'm gonna show you how to actually make your melodies uh, unique. I already showed you how to do your chords, but now I'm gonna show you how to make these unique and add your own flavor to it. All right, so now we're gonna make it our own, and this is pretty easy because all we really need to do is break the rules a little bit so we can change the timing of things um, we can use notes that we're not supposed to use, right? Um, or go to, right? <clears throat> but everything still kind of falls in line, right? Because if I were to use this, this note 
is a part of the same chord as you can see this a right so um but we're just thinking outside the box using different rhythms and patterns so i'm gonna actually use this idea here and maybe flip this over and let's kind of have this so we can have that kind of melody going right um let's not flam this let's pull this over and then we kind of use these same notes, but not like this. We can kind of maybe just trickle it down. Let's see. All right, so I want to add some other stuff here. So I'm going to pull this up an octave. All right, and these are things you can do that's not necessarily like normal. And let's go to this A sharp. And I just did this. Pull the velocity. Um, I probably want to add another note here, but I think I'm gonna leave it blank. And then we could pull this down an octave two. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, I like that, right? So now it's got a little bit of flavor to it, right? And I really do too much, just kind of flip a few parts. All right, so let's do this part. Okay, we don't gotta do all that, all right? We can just kind of go a little bit simpler on this one. So let's just take this F and just flam this up a bit. And we can kind of keep these in the same spots. And with these, you wanna kind of, instead of going on the grid like this, Right, you want to kind of offset them. All right, um, let's see. Maybe do something like this. Right, and there's other stuff I want to do, but I just want to kind of get this part over with. So, because I'm sure y'all get the point by now. Um, so over here, let's take this and move this over, and then move this over, and then. Maybe offset some of these. All right, that should be good enough. Let's play it. Okay, and that is how you make it unique. So now I'm just kind of make a beat out of this for the outro. I'm not gonna do anything crazy, but I'm just go ahead and show that part. All right, so actually, before we start the drums, I want to go over like how to use these voices. Now, what a lot of people do is they use too clear of voices or voices that say things, which will be hard for the person to rap on. Right. So. You, so I like these distant voices because you can't really hear what they're saying and it just sounds like a melody itself. Right. So I'm going to put this on in the key. All right, so make sure you're not using too crazy of a like clear voice where it sounds like a hook, All right? You can do that, but if you're going for this vibe, I suggest like kind of um, vocal runs or stuff like that, that you can kind of make it really ambient. All right, so I'm gonna just choose some real quick. So I'm gonna use this one and then we can use another one over here. Whatever. All right, we can use that one. Let's play it. All right, that should be good enough, but I just want to mention that because I see a lot of people use these vocals as too clear, right? Where it sounds like somebody's actually rapping on the melody. Uh, so you want to kind of use these very vague-ish ambient um, voices and stuff, all right? All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and finish out the drums um, just so I can have an outro beat. Um, so all I did with the clap is I just put this, put this up a few notes so it's like a little higher. So just got some high end. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw in this bass line and I'll make this simple. Cause not every beat needs to be super crazy with a bunch of 808s.
Yeah, and I want this. Yeah, I want this to be kind of smooth. I don't want to go crazy. All right. So now let's do the kicks real quick. This should be super easy anyway. So I might fast forward through the hi hats and stuff, but. All right, so let's go in here. Blows down. Then maybe we could throw in one more of these right here. Just trying to do this quick. Okay, I think that's good enough, at least just for the outro. So I'll play with the whole thing and I'll show the melody. All right, here we go. Alright, and that's it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Make sure you have a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.